Hello, my name is Ben with FileWave, and we'll be talking about LDAP integration in FileWave version 10. So here we are starting at the dashboard, and we can see that LDAP is set up. Right? The status is green, and on the right side, our last sync with our LDAP server was 41 minutes ago. Now this sync, if we go to our preferences, is based off of the setting interval down here. So you can see mine is set to one hour. And we have the option to enable automatic group updates, which means it's gonna take the directory structure starting from the base that we've specified here. And it's gonna go and replicate that structures and all of its subgroups here. Okay. So in the client's view, we have a couple different options for specifying LDAP groups. The first example we've already kind of talked about is we can tell file, I want you to mirror my directory structure and have it be here. And you can see if we open up our domain admins group, there's a uh, 1010 machine sitting in there right now. Now I'm using an Active Directory server and an OS 10 machine, but this is just as accurate with Open Directory and E Directory and Windows and OS 10 machines. So you can see this is based off of the user of the machine. I can also do it based off the computer and any subgroups that it might be in as well. So if I want to create an association, I can create it to the parts of my directory structure that already exist. Now I can also create other smart groups that point to different things. So this is a smart group pointing to the computers group. Now I can also add criteria to this if I wanted to. An OS platform is a particular kind and all of these must be true. Okay. Or I could point to users of that group. So you can see this is pointing to two different things. An LDAP users group. So we're pointing to the administrators. All right, so if we hover over, we can see the full path to this particular item. All right, it's administrators, which is within built in, which is within the, the base DN that we're pointed to. I have also can point to an inventory query. Now this query is very simply looking for particular users being logged in. Okay. There are some pros and cons to doing um, this, uh, but we won't talk about those today. So, but I have those options. And if I change my mind, I want to remove that query, then it's just based off of my directory administrators group. So you can see that this computer is showing up in all these different places. Okay. And if we actually search for this computer, we can see that the original is there and it's in server users, built-in administrators, schema admins, enterprise admins, cert publishers, domain admins, as well as that special smart group I made called admins. So it's actually in a lot of places. So what this gives us when we go to associations is I can take something like um, my documents here. So I have my company policies and some other documents and I can associate it to my LDAP computers group, which is what I've done down here. So these are the things that every computer, regardless of Windows or OS 10, is gonna get these documents. Okay. Now I've associated these two apps to my domain admins group which if we right click on one of them, we can say reveal the client, right? So that's where it's pointed to, right? So these two apps are pointed to domain administrators. And then these two browsers are pointing to that smart group that I created of admins. <clears throat> so what we've got here is a very reactive situation. We've got a computer that sits here and like everybody else gets these documents. But if let's say one of my administrators should log into this machine, like this computer here, you can see that it's got all of those things combined. So because it's 
just a computer in the directory structure, it's getting all of those documents because it is in that special uh, LDAP admins group that I made. It's getting those two browsers. And because they're a domain administrator, this FW admin user is a domain administrator, they're getting these two utilities. Right? So combine that all together, we are, this user is presented with all of these different options. And we can double check that by looking at this machine's file set status under client info. You can see they've even chosen to install one on that machine. So that is a basic intro to our directory structures and how we can use those with smart groups um, to create what we'd like to achieve with directory integration.